you can have your seats, amen. Let's get to the time as far as far as spent, amen. I'm not going to be before you long, amen. Uh, I have already uh, cut my message three times. Just sit there, amen. Amen. Because, listen, I know that it don't take God all night to do nothing. And guess what? And from all this good singing we done heard, amen, and we done heard several messages already, amen. We thank God, amen. I want to thank God for being here, amen. I thank God for my life, amen. Today you find me saved. And, I, and I'm sanctified. And I'm set aside. And I'm satisfied. Amen, somebody. Listen, I told somebody, I said, I, I've been saved and I've been filled with the Holy Ghost and preaching for 33 years. But right now you find me living saved on purpose. Amen. Listen, now you don't understand it, that you, you, it's, you, we owe a life for a life. Jesus gave his life for us, and we're going to have to lay our life down. Come on, somebody. Just go and just say, you owe a life for a life. You owe a life for a life. So we thank God, amen. We are here to uh, pray homage and, and to uh, praise these uh, the honorees on tonight. 30 years is a long time to be doing anything. Amen. And uh, I, I know that all the preachers up here, they would uh, they would agree, amen, and, and, and pastoring our folks is really a long time, 30 years. Amen. So I was talking to a superintendent the other day, Wilson, amen, and I told him, I said, well, uh, on the 4th of this month, it's going to be a year that we pastor in that Trinity Temple Church of God in Christ in Gainesville. Amen. I said, but I don't know, as it's doggy years, I said, feel like 10, amen. <laughs> but guess what? I ain't tired yet, amen. So we thank God, amen, for Superintendent Wilson. Listen, he, me and him, amen, first you have a friend, you must show yourself friendly, amen. And I met him uh, uh, when we was uh, uh, members, amen, my pastor, Superintendent Faltry, amen, Greater North Park. And I saw him and his lovely wife. Don't she look good over there with that gold yeah. on? You wearing that hat, the left lady, really. Wilson, you wearing that hat, amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And, uh, and listen, and I'm going to move on, but listen, I knew me and him was going to be good because when I saw him shouting, amen. Listen, I got a problem when, when, when nothing moves you, amen. Amen, somebody. Listen, you should, you should be possessing what you're professing, amen, somebody. And when man, our spirits can connect it, amen. And I just want to thank God for you, amen. I'm here, amen. And every time he calls me, I come, amen. And we thank God for you. But guess what, amen. He is the angel of this house, amen. But the fragrance of this house, amen. The woman that stands beside him, amen. The one that has to pass it to him, but he has to pass to him when he go home, amen. The one that's back there by his side, his ride or die, his day one from the, his, his number one from day one. Come on and give it, let Lady Wilson. Come on, y'all, give her a hand. Come on, come on, give her a hand. And we thank God for them, amen. Listen, I want to thank God for this, all these powerhouse preachers that's here. I feel so inadequate to be here among all these fine preachers. Amen. Amen. Come on, I want you all to give a hand for my friend. Amen. Uh, First Church Pinnacle of Praise, Church of God in Christ. Amen. Come on, come on, y'all. Amen. I told him I want to be like him when I grow up. Amen. <laughs> I want to be like you when I grow up, amen. And we love them, and me and my wife. But listen, I want y'all to know the reason why I was so happy, amen, that I saw his wife, the lovely, the elect lady, Diamond. Listen, God is a healer, and she was not only up, but she was shouting. And I don't know, but the Holy Ghost just took over me. I had to go and get my dance on. Come on and give the lady Diamond a hand. Won't it do it? Won't it do it? Come on, somebody, won't it? So we thank God for the guidance, amen. And I, uh, I met the, I met the uh, shallow house of praise, amen. Church of God in Christ, amen. And that was Elder Paul Jackson, amen. Come on and give him a hand, amen. And his lovely wife, amen. Give him a hand in his church, amen. I enjoyed everything, amen. And this young man. 
that said that he was old, amen, and he's been up and dancing and singing, amen, like a young man, amen, and I'm so glad that I was able to meet him tonight, amen. The powerhouse, Church of God in Christ. No, no, no. For my pastor being here, amen. I didn't think he was going to be able to right. come, but Superintendent Charles Faltry yeah. of the Greater North Park Church of God in Christ, amen. I want to thank God for him being here, amen. And I want to give my first lady, but Lady Penelope Faltry, come on and give her a hand. Yeah. Yeah. I want to give uh, Pastor uh, Morris, uh, uh, I want to give him a hand, amen. He goes to another church, but he's a member of Trinity Temple. He goes to the <laughs> Holy Temple, Church of God in Christ in Sanger, amen. But guess what? He calls me his pastor, but he's really my brother, amen. Come on and give him a hand, amen. I want to thank God for all of you that are here, amen. I want to give it a hand. Listen, this young lady here and that other lady, amen. But this, hey, oh, you be playing. I love you, amen. That's my man right there, amen. And you already know to stay right there because I ain't going to be long, amen, when I'm done with all the accolades, amen. But listen, I want to tell y'all something. I want to move on, amen. I'm in love, amen. I found my good thing and I obtained favor with God, amen. Listen, I sent her a, a text yesterday, Superintendent Geithner. It was just for, I just sent her one lady, Geithner. And I said, I could not, and I would not, and I don't want to do this without you. I couldn't. I told her, I said, I thank God for you. I'm talking about the woman that puts the cream in my coffee. She puts the smile on my face. And I gave her some words, and she made it a song. Uh, I gave her a house, and she made it a home. Amen. I want y'all to know when she smiles at me, I feel like I've done something right in this life. I want y'all to put y'all the hands together for my real for my ride or die. Divisions of Psalms, amen, amen, and I'm going to be coming to you, amen, and I'm going to be talking to you about David, amen, listen, look, you have to understand that if you're talking about working in the vineyard, amen, uh -huh. living for God, amen, he was a man after God's own heart, amen, he can tell us a few things, amen, and I want you all to know that this might not, this ain't got hooked up with the theme, but it is, somebody say it ain't, but it is, you know how we, like, we just make up words, amen, amen. And we just thank God, amen. Listen, I'm going to try to extrapolate from these words, from these scriptures, amen. And I'm going to try to relay this to you on tonight. And I'm going to get out your way, amen. Because, listen, I'm just like Superintendent uh, Wilson. I can shout and dance all night, amen. I'm 59 years young, amen. And I ain't tired yet, amen. Listen, I just thank God. Look, I don't know about y'all, but when I woke up this morning, mama, and found myself alive, I started thanking God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. Listen, you need to thank God, amen. Listen, I, I, I told them on last night uh, at our, our revival hour at our church, amen. I said that, that you've been to a whole lot of funerals, but you ain't been to your own. You need to be thanking God. I know y'all be driving home and they'll hit you later, amen. Amen. I ain't trying to be deep. That's just deep all by itself. We need to thank God, amen, for everything, amen. I thank God for the good, and I thank God for the bad, amen. The word of God reads as such, amen, the 141st division of Psalm. This is David, amen, the 140 and 141st division of Psalm. This is a song of prayer, 
Amen. This is a man who knew how when things are going wrong, he knew how to get God's attention and he knew what to do. Amen. Amen. And so, listen, I want to make sure that you understand everything that I'm about to tell you on tonight. Amen. And you're going to listen. When I give you the title, amen, you should shout all by yourself once you get the title. Amen. But it reads as thus. Lord, I cry unto thee. Make haste unto me. Give ear unto my voice when I cry unto thee. Let my prayers be set forth before thee as incense. And the lifting of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Set watch, O Lord, before my mouth. <laughs> Keep the door of my lip. <laughs> uh, amen, somebody. Amen. Now, listen. And so we're going to go back to the second verse. Let my prayers be forth before thee as incense. And the lifting of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Come on, just turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor. neighbor. If they didn't want you to talk to them, it's too late. They already should have sat by your head. Come on, say, neighbor. I don't know what you're going through, and I don't know what you've been through, but the preacher said that God said, all you got to do is this right here. The title is, with my hands, lift it up. Come on, tell somebody else, with my hands, lift it up. Come on, tell somebody, with my hands, lift it up. Now, come on and give God some praise in here. You can have those things, amen. Amen. I'm going to get out of here, amen. I'm going to hook this up, amen. I'm a chef by trade, amen. So I'm going to put this together, amen. And I'm going to serve this, amen. Listen, that's with my hands lifted up, with my mouth full of praise. With a heart of thanksgiving, I will bless thee, O oh Lord. I don't know about y'all, but we need to get the right posture. We got to have the right response, amen. When God is doing things for us, when God is constantly blessing us, amen, we got to have an attitude of gratitude. Come on, tell somebody you better get thankful because things could be worse than what they are. Amen, somebody. Listen, it's some people, amen, wish they had their hands, but they can't, amen. And now you're sitting in here right now, and God is letting you know with my hands lifted up, with my mouth full of praise, with a heart of a thanksgiving, I will bless thee, O Lord. Come on, say, with my hands. This is a prayer of a man who knows about his own heart. Mm -hmm. uh, at least enough to know that it is dangerous if it's unattended. He knows he needs the constraints that God sets. He needs the restraining power of the Holy Ghost. God was David's refuge. Not only from Saul, but also from David's own sins. Listen, we have to understand that we need God, amen, and we need to know that the most powerful weapon that we have is prayer. If the devil can stop you from praying, he got you, amen. I know some of us, we, we're lazy, amen. You have one leg hanging off the bed, amen. amen. Some of us stand up beside the wall, amen. But listen, I want you to know that you better lift your hands up uh, and let God know with my hands lifted up. Uh, I'm coming to you. I'm surrendering. I want you to know I can't do this without you. I don't want to do it without you. I need you. You are my refuge. Come on, how many of y'all believe that he's your refuge? Come on, say, with my hands lifted up. With my hands lifted up. With my hands lifted up. David, David knew something, amen. You have to understand that this is a song of prayer, amen. This is a song of prayer. And sometimes we can have our prayers blocked, amen. How many times did y'all feel like you pray and your prayers don't go farther than the ceiling, amen, somebody. But that's because we got to get the right posture. We're going to have to have the proper response. We're going to have to make sure that we are lifting God up in every turn. We're going to have to make sure that we're praising him every chance we get. Somebody told me, so what is the best time to praise God? When you feel like it and when you don't. I don't know about y'all, but listen, I've been running a long time and I ain't tired yet. How many of y'all know that if it had not been for Jesus? Mm -hmm. Yeah, listen, I can ask 
y'all and y'all uh, I can ask y'all a question and you'll start to sit there uh, like you're so sedated and I can ask you can you remember what he bought you from and some of y'all are trying to turn it all the way around I ain't got to turn it all the way around when I glance over my shoulder I see what he bought me from I remember, I remember, I remember uh, when I was slipping crack like I was crazy. I was running the streets like I was crazy. But one day, uh, I went to a meeting on a Tuesday night, uh, and my heart wasn't right. Uh, and something, uh, something that uh, got a hold of me. Uh, listen, I don't know about y'all, uh, but I wasn't brought up uh, in a church home. Uh, I didn't hear my mama praying. I didn't hear my daddy praying. Uh, I grew up in South Memphis, uh, three blocks from Pastor uh, Bishop Patterson Church, uh, in the claiming home, uh, in the ghetto. Uh, it wasn't in the cards uh, that I would live to see 59, uh, but I want y'all to know one thing, uh, that God is faithful, uh, and God is just. Uh, he has a purpose uh, for you and I. Come on and clap them hands and say, with my hand. Your prayers blocked, uh, and the two, uh, two of the greatest hindrances uh, that the Christians have in their prayer life uh, are doubt and unbelief. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Doubt and unbelief. Uh, you have to understand that doubt is the thief uh, of God's greatest blessings. Uh, it keeps us uh, in a state of separation from God. Some people doubt there is a God, and other doubt that He will perform His promises in response to their prayers. How many of y'all know? Uh, if you don't believe it, don't pray it. If you don't believe it, don't say it. But how many believers I got? Somebody told me. Uh, Him. When I can't see him, I still gotta trust him. When I don't hear from him, I still gotta trust him. Although you slay me, yet will I trust you? I don't know about y'all, but listen, I am, I am ready. I told God whatever you want. I got my hands lifted up. I surrender all. All to you I owe. Come on, say I surrender all. Yeah, 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 yeah. I gotta get out of 
I don't know about y'all. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, I like the entree. Oh, you can have the dessert. I like veggies, but you can have them. Just bring me my meat. I want my protein. So I got a little meat for you. You see, David, he was running from Saul for over 10 years. And David knows something about situations. David know about battle. David know about anger. David know about doing wrong. Because one morning, somebody said one morning, early one morning, he was the king. He got up on top of his roof because it was hot. And he got up one morning, early one morning, and he was on top of his roof. And then over there, somebody said over there, over there on the other roof. <laughs> was Bathsheba <laughs> and it was hot so she was taking a bath she didn't know it's early in the morning everybody should be asleep and David was the king now it wasn't the problem that he saw her the problem was that he looked too long and then he messed up I want y'all to know right now you better ask God to put some Holy Ghost blinders on
a state of consciousness. But I told one of my little brothers, I said, well, you and your conscience is going to be burning up in hell if you don't get it right. But how many of y'all know that you can't be a sinner and be a saint? You can't be saved and do anything you want. My Bible tells me that if any man or woman or girl
What you gonna do? What you gonna do? I will bless. 